Don Lemon. Many of you have noticed that I have not been here. My oldest sister died unexpectedly last week, and I am probably noticed I He is an American journalist and author, an award winning news anchor for CNN based in New York City, and hosts CNN Tonight. Thank you. It's good to see you. I know this is probably tough stuff to have to talk about on TV, let alone, you know, writing about in your own book. You write, you know, the book's called Transparent, and that's, that's precisely. When you, there's been a lot of reading today, you see, you've got it too, right? When you, oh, look, yeah. when you start reading all of this, it says that 44% of homeless gay youth are black. That's huge. You Because you, you. when you wrote your memoir in 2011, you didn't have to come out at that point. You made a decision, and that yeah. was way before Anderson. That was before Robin. And, yeah. you know. But we've got to talk about the president today, okay? He's trying to convince you to ignore. I would love to spend more time with you. You are an incredible guy. Thank you so much. He was born in Louisiana, United States on March 1st, 1966. A new CNN Tonight t-shirt. She had washed the letters off the old one that I gave her just a few years ago, and that's all she wanted. Bring, please bring me a new CNN Tonight t-shirt. So I want all of you to know that your prayer. He was educated at Baker High School, a public high school in the town of Baker in East Baton Rouge Parish. Many of you have reached out to me that I, I can't respond to all of them, so I just want to respond now and please pass this on. I can't do um, everybody's name, but I just want, because there's so much conflict happening right now. I... He majored in broadcast journalism at Brooklyn College in Brooklyn, New York, and attended Louisiana State University. There is no standard way survivors talk about sexual assault. It isn't always a police phone call and a rape kit or a report filed with HR. While in college, Lemon worked as a news assistant at WNYW in New York City. Conversation with a friend, partner, or a doctor, and sometimes it comes out all at once. Why is it so hard to talk about? Well, part of it is fear, and part of it is Early in his career, Lemon reported as a weekend anchor for WBRC in Birmingham, Alabama, and WCAU in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania as well as an anchor and investigative reporter for KTVI St. Louis. In case there was a mechanical failure of some type and we could just kind of go on with we the conversation. Best friends, yes. We did. And um, I, I, I am so, I'm inspired by you and this story. What made you Lemon reported for NBC News' New York City operations, including working as a correspondent for Today and NBC Nightly News, and an anchor on Weekend Today and MSNBC. And as I started writing, I started writing about my childhood, I started writing about the abuse, and then it got to the point where... In 2003, he began at NBC-owned and operated station WMAQ-TV, and was a reporter as well as local news co-anchor. to a junior high school or so, so it went on for a couple of years, but my, my mom remarried after my, my real dad died and we moved out of that neighborhood and that sort of took Lemon joined CNN in September 2006. He has been outspoken in his work at CNN, criticizing the state of cable news and questioning the network publicly. From the book where you, you talk about that part of your life. <laughs> Okay, so you want me to do this. I, I wanted you to read it, but I will do it. Uh, it. And I have to tell you, I'm a, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I've never... He has also voiced strong opinions on ways that the African American community can improve themselves, which has caused some controversy. You realize why the Attorney General wanted to come out and get ahead of this because sure. it is not as glowing as the President of the United States. Since 2014, he has hosted CNN's New Year's Eve special from New Orleans. A letter from Barr has said, all you have to do is read it. That's right. Now, here's the sad thing, though. I sound like you for a second here. Uh, Rudy did an effective thing tonight that plays to our political reality. In a much-reported broadcast in January 2018, Lemon introduced his broadcast with, This is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. The President of the United States is racist. 
During an on-air interview with members of Bishop Eddie Long's congregation in September 2010, Lemon said that he was a victim of sexual abuse as a child and that it was not until he was 30 years old that he told his mother about it. This is about something else, and that's a whole nother story, a whole nother show. He is but, his but, own worst, worst enemy. enemy. But I got to tell you, it's all projection. In his memoir, Transparent, Lemon came out as gay and discusses colorism in the black community and the sexual abuse he suffered as a child. Going on Twitter and responding to him. I wish you would do that about, you know, some of the people who are eggs on Twitter. You know how we talk about that. Mm -hmm. But it's always good to take the high road because, you know, he's attacked me before and it's, you know. It's a he has Creole ancestry. His great grandfather was of French descent, in addition to Nigerian. Cameroonian, and Congolese ancestry. After being absent for approximately a week, he opened the show on February 6 by thanking everyone who wished him prayers and words of encouragement. It's important to me, it's important to the LGBT community, and it's important to the black community, and I am a proud member of both, so I feel obligated to speak out on this issue. He said that conservatives, like Sean Hannity, were among the first to call, which illustrated how they actually respect each other and have good relations, even though they disagree on the issues. Hosting the Oscars last month after tweets from 2009 and 2011 resurfaced with derogatory language, referring to gay people and disparaging... Lemon owns an apartment in Harlem and a second home in Sag Harbor, New York, on Long Island. On April 6, 2019, Lemon announced on social media his boyfriend of two years Tim Malone had proposed, which Lemon accepted. That was before Robin. And, yeah. You know, you decided if I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Someone asked me to write a book and it took me a long time to do it I, and I kept telling myself no and I said, what am I, you know, why am I telling myself no? It's because I didn't believe Lemon won an Emmy Award for a special report on the real estate market in Chicago. I got to that one part and I said, you know what, if I'm going to be honest, then I have to be honest if I'm going to be a journalist. And I wrote it out and it was the scariest thing I ever did. I bet. Yeah. Did you want to take it back the minute that you did? Or? I, I did. The scariest moment actually. He received an Edward R. Murrow Award for his coverage of the capture of the D.C. area sniper and a number of other awards for reports on Hurricane Katrina and the AIDS epidemic in Africa. as his own hand-picked intel chiefs testified on Tuesday on live TV was his word mischaracterized, which is impossible. After all... Lemon was voted as one of the 150 most influential African Americans by Ebony magazine in 2009. Mr. President, did you talk to your intelligence chiefs today about the displeasure you had with their testimony? I did, and they uh, said that they were totally misquoted and they were totally... Uh, it was taken out of context. In 2014, however, Columbia Journalism Review awarded Lemon a more dubious honor when his work was named in a list of worst journalism of the year, along with Fox and Friends and Rolling Stone magazine, for his remarks to an alleged Bill Cosby rape victim. <laughs> I had a dog swim. Thank you, Mike Tyson. I love you. I love you too. We'll be right back. <laughs> In 2015, over 30,000 people signed a petition demanding that Lemon be fired from CNN following a controversial remark he made regarding police behavior. You guys have tomorrow night I'll be live in Ferguson as it gets close to a grand jury decision, so make sure you what watch What do you think is going to happen? Thanks for watching. Then they're going to victim be on DVR. In 2018, Lemon described Kanye West's appearance at the White House with President Donald Trump as embarrassing and a minstrel show whilst allowing his panel members to describe West as a token Negro. In October 2018, Lemon stated on air, So, we have to stop demonizing people and realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized to the right. And we have to start doing something about them. There is no travel ban on them. There is no ban on, they had the Muslim banned. There is no white guy ban. So, what do we do about that? 